Hidden Object Guru here with hot new service. That's right. It's a service and to stream. Uh, and so the idea of this is that they have somehow gotten access to the rights to stream for people 1,200 games. And that's a lot of games. Some might say too many games. I might say too many games. And I'm wondering if this is some situation where they can't legally sell these games, but because uh, people are paying for the service, right, and the games always stay on the company's servers and you just stream them being played, there's a loophole? Because, like, there's a lot of LucasArts games on here. It's very interesting. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, the good people at AntStream have been nice enough to give me a membership to this, for a couple of months anyway. So what we're going to do is endeavor to play all of them. Now, we're not going to finish all of them. We're not going to even play more than a minute or two of, of most of them. But we are going to try to play all of them. So let's do that the only way that makes sense. Alphabetical order. So let's start with 3D Tic-Tac-Toe. Uh, okay, it's for the Atari. Nice. Movement, movement, start, select. Okay. Let's play. All right, so... Wait, 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 wait. The computer gets the first move? That ain't cool. All right. Uh, now, if I understand 3D chess, and I don't. 3D chess. Gah! Uh... I feel like he's already outplayed me. Okay. What can he possibly be ha have going on there? Oh, I see what he's figured out. So he's figured out, right. So let's say I put a dot here, an X here. Then he'll just put an O there. And then he'll be one move away from winning. See? And the crazy part is, now literally I have to put this here or he wins the game. And I was trying to do it again the other way. Uh, okay. Uh, what is he planning with that? I'm going to make my move and force him to make a move. Except that's not going to help anything. Damn. Oh yeah, I'm losing this. There's no question that I'm losing this game. Okay. Now what is his technique? Uh, okay, he's got that on the top, that on the top, that on the top. Okay. So by hitting the corners like that, he really limits my ability to make any other moves. So I'm just going to shut down his straight across. All right. Dang. He's got a lot of moves he can make here. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. So, I, at this point, I'm basically just playing defense. Uh, does he have an angle? Okay, well... Uh, mathematically speaking, that will shut down one possible move from him. Is that based on anything? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, okay, I didn't see that one. Ah, you're a genius. All right, well, I'm done playing that. Apparently, I am not good at uh, 3D tic-tac-toe. Surprising no one. Yes, I'm sure I want to leave the game session. All right, uh, okay. Next, a game called 1999. Uh, what was this? The ZX Spectrum. I've never heard of this. This is entirely new to me. 3D tic-tac-toe I'd heard of. I've never played, but I had an Atari. And Atari games come with a little booklet that has a hundred thousand games listed in it prepare for death oh it's a horizontal the kingdom of death i don't even know what killed me seriously did anybody see what killed me are you playing as rambo 
No, uh, that's one of the guys from Ikari Warriors. Oh, okay. Oh, a thing flew in from the back of the screen. <laughs> it's supposed to. See? It makes me wonder, do they have... Do they have Ikari Warriors in this? I did Maybe love... you need to stop going alphabetical. Well, no. We're just going to find out in three weeks if they have a, a carry Warriors. It would take away the fun if I checked. I I mean, I've glanced in the screen. There's a bunch of Pac-Mans. There's a Double Dragon. There's uh, a bunch of... I think I saw some Fatal Fury, so they have SNK games. Okay, that was embarrassing. Wow. That was a weird... That was a weird... Credit screen. Credits? It's high score screen. Alright. Kingdom of Death. Here we go. Kingdom of Death! Yes! I feel like you need to give it some more. Oh, okay. I see what's happening. Um, it's uh, Space Invaders? Gah! Rules. So you can only have one shot on screen at a time. So if it hits, you can additionally... You can... In immediately fire an additional shot. You can only have one shot on, on the screen, screen at a time in Space Evaders. Yeah. Did you not know that? It explains a lot about my failure to play Space Evaders. Yeah. What the hell? Okay, the game's habit of having a dude fly in from the less left side of the screen with, like, no notice whatsoever. Like, no warning. You have no idea where it's coming from and it kills you instantly. It kind of mean, forces you to, like, hang out in the middle of the screen. Which, you know, gets you killed right away, because these things move incredibly quickly. Ah! Oh, I'm bad at this. We're in the Orophis Nebula. I assume that would mean a new type of... Yeah, alright. So that was this game. Uh, 1999. Which we're absolutely quitting now. And I hope that the people who made this... Uh, you know what? I want to see the credits again. See if there's anybody I recognize in there. There probably isn't. But I was going to say that uh, I hope the guys who made this never made anything else. That's how much I dislike it. But honestly, this is the Spectrum community from the 1980s and 90s. So these guys could have, you know, go on, gone on to uh, make Rockstar, create Rockstar games. For all I know. I've entered my name. Can I see the high score screen? Oh, 82 Sinclair Research. Okay, then probably not. Woohoo! My score wasn't terrible. It was terrible. Yeah. Oh, it was the bottom of the high score chart, but it was on the high score chart. All right. Uh, okay. For this game, high scores can be with your friends around the world. All right. Uh, I'm 76th on Earth in this game. 76? Excellent. On the entire planet. That's not so, bad. Does that tell us that... I'm Only 77 people have played the game. Yes. yes. Yeah. But also that 75 other people played it slightly longer than me. That's, that's another way of looking at it. <laughs> Next up, 2020 Super Baseball. This is about Cyborg Baseball. You know, how Cyborg Baseball's Baseball was briefly popular one year ago. We all remember yeah. that, don't we? Did they have si Well, no, they only had robots in the stands. Yeah, they had robots to wave, but sadly no cyborg baseball. Oh, man, I got super excited. Uh, this is an SNK game, which is going to be pretty weird. Uh, okay. I'm in the Exciting League or the Fighting League? Okay, well, apparently I ran out of time to choose. Uh... I will be the Taiwan Mega Powers fighting the Korea Dragoon. So that's the fair zone, you say. That's the foul zone, and that's the home run zone. Make ready any device. Target Cyber Egg Stadium. Exciting League Pennant Race. The Ty Wow, this going too fast for me to read. That's saying something. All right. Oh, wait, that's not a cyborg. Oh, oh, that was well out. Oh, I'm bad at this. Well, it is this. I lost a hundred dollars for striking out, which is not a good look for me. Ooh, yeah, no, this is... You know, I remember uh, hating this in arcades, so it's not a shock that I would hate it now. I never played it yes! in arcades. Yes! Foul ball! Because I was like, 
You know what's worse than playing actual baseball? Computer baseball. Everyone playing knows that. Playing computer baseball. Finally, I got a right-handed batter. And perfect time for you to... You're welcome. No, they got me. Yeah, so because it's a sports game, you only have X amount of time to play. Uh, and so instead of... Uh... Come on, come on, you got this! You did not have this. Uh, yeah, because they can't let you play a whole game in an arcade, so your, uh, your credit buys you three minutes, and if you keep playing... I don't understand what happened there. Is it weird that... Uh-oh. Wait, did she steal a base? I think she might have stolen a base. Uh, so yeah, you only get the three minutes to play. And if you get, uh... That was absolutely a strike. Come on, you got this. You didn't have this. Oh, wow. My guys are bad at fielding. Although I think part of that is because we're following the ball. And so I have no idea when my guys are going to appear on screen. So it's impossible for me to position them. That is definitely an issue. I don't know. I've only got 59 seconds left to win the game, and he hit a home run. I don't think you're going to win the game. There's a good chance I'm not going to win the game. Wait, no, he didn't hit a home run? Okay, in a thing I've never seen before in the history of baseball games, it flew well out of the stadium, hit a wall, and then bounced back into the stadium. I don't know how you score that. Now I'm just trying to hit this guy with a baseball. Alright, he's good at dodging baseball, so I'll stop doing that. That was absolutely a strike, you lying monsters. Finally! Got my hundred dollars. Seriously, what is the cash about in this? Okay, you got this, you got this. Yes! Finally, my fielder pulled something off. Okay, my fielder is really getting a lot of work because I'm so bad at pitching. Yeah, it's doing that bouncing in thing again. Oh well, we had a good run. But uh, now it's time to leave the world of uh, future baseball. <laughs> Which, of course, is now past baseball. That feels weird, right? It feels very weird. Oh my god, 720! Oh, it's the arcade 720. Alright, I, I used to be obsessed with this game. Nice. Uh, to the point where I went out and bought the NES version, which, spoiler alert, is terrible. I know. What is uh, this? It's a skateboarding game. Of course it is. So, what, the fun part about this one is. Uh, yeah, let's do the training level. Wait. I'm so confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, good. Oh, no. They've screwed up the controls. Oh, no. Alright, so, yeah, they've screwed up the controls, so this is not going to be playable. Alright, so here's how it was arranged in the original game. The uh, the skateboard, so you'll see that there's eight directions this guy can point in, basically. Right? Uh, okay, actually, no, it's 16 directions. He can uh, skate it. And he's got a jump, and it's very cool. And so the way it worked was, and this is what made the game so unique in its control system. Skate or Die, which of course would later become a game. Uh, on its own. Alright, so I'll explain the situation. Yes, I'll do the downhill park. Bees come after you. Bees? See? When you get there, and if you get touched by bees, it's game over, you have to restart. Oh, I remember this! I hated this game. So the way it worked was, the controller was on an angle. So instead of the controller... Careful. I got this. Yeah! Oh, that was so gold time. You were so Strangely obsessed with skateboarding games. I love skateboarding who's games. Never skateboarding. No, never. Never would. Never have. Uh, okay. Terrified of skateboarding. Love the games. I can remember this at the arcade, and I remember being like, you know what's across the street? A skate park. A skate park. Let's just go to the yeah, skate park. And so the thing was angled, and the angle it pointed toward, which uh, oh, was man. which way you were facing, right? Sorry, the angle you uh, did was the way you were facing. So literally, all you had to do if you wanted to do a spin was spin the controller around. 
this isn't made that way. This way, push left to rotate left, right to rotate right. So it's physically impossible for you to get a 360 going because the speed at which he turns, you'd never be in, uh, in the air that long. It's just not possible. So 720? Like, epically wonderful game. No, I got killed by uh, bees. Epically wonderful arcade game. Skate or die on Ant Stream. Sorry, it's just, it's not playable. I mean, it's better than the NES version, but you're never going to be able to... Uh, 28th on Earth, everybody. Nice. I know. Well, I am a professional skater or dyer. Yeah. I, I used to be able to, and this is not a brag, because it's pathetic how much time I spent playing in the game. Uh, get to the, like, sec halfway through the second, once to the third set of skate parks on a single quarter. If you're very good at the game, like, you can progress quite easily. All right, we're about to finish off the numbered games with 3D Galax. Oh, for the Amiga. I had an Amiga growing up. That was my computer. I played that. Yeah, all right, here we go. Start, change sites, fire. Never played this game, but I did have an Amiga. I'm going to assume this is another uh, vertical or horizontal shooter. No, it's 3D. What? Oh, no. Wait, is this? Yep. What, what am I doing? Oh, it's got, um, so it's 3D Space Invaders. Yep. Oh, that's jarring. Oh, my God. This, this is terrible. This is terrible. So it oh sorry, it's more Galaga than Space Invader because there's a set of aliens. Uh and then they reset themselves. Here's my question. Why whenever I shoot a bullet, does it go way off to the side? Alright, watch this. Like I shoot a oh! Okay, it's not going off to the side. They're just constantly moving left and right in a way that makes it impossible to hit them. I see. We're not playing any more of this, are we? Nope. We're dismissing this completely? Nope. All right, yes, I got one. I dismissed it completely. I usually just push a button. That's fair, but like the, uh, unlike Galaga and like the original Space Invader, once again, uh, you are not able to fire more than one bullet at a time. Must kill the birdie, damn it, he's good. I feel like there's a chance I might be able to make it to the second wave. A chance. Yes! Oh, I got the birdie. Not at this moment? Um, wait. Now you could. This is weirdly difficult to control. It's adding that extra Z axis. That's Sorry, that extra X axis. Rather than just having to worry about a Y axis. Yep. It's very strange for space invading. I mean, I've done this on, um, in VR. In VR, it actually makes a lot of sense, because you're, you know, manually controlling everything. Here, it's... Yes! Oh, I got the birdie! There's literally one alien left. We can win this thing. Do it! If I can ever find him? Oh my god! This is ridiculously difficult. I think they actually have a pattern. Oh, no, they do, but it's so hard to control yeah. my ship movement, because it also uses inverted flight stick controls. So I have to push down to go up and whatnot. Also, look at the ridiculous slowdown. And this is true to the original Space Invader. Like, it can't handle the amount of ships on screen, so there's a ridiculous slowdown when there's a lot of ships, and then it, you know, gets back to the speed it's supposed to be. When, uh... Oh, my... God. That was kind of my theory, but the one where you said the dialogue was going too fast for you. Oh, it's a, a clock issue. Because... A system clock yeah, issue. Yeah, because yes. it would have been programmed for the system. Right, and this is the emulator. The okay. And that the emulator is much faster. Yes, 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 yes! Die, die, die! Alright, I'm going to let them kill me now, and we're going to get our high score. Because I think this 6,500 high score will put us at least 20th in the world. I just cannot hit these guys. I honestly don't know if that bit is, is part of the game or a glitch. What do you mean? This, the screen shaking? Yeah. Oh, that's 100% part of it. Alright, they got us, everybody. That's where I would have stopped playing. Check it out. That was actually a pretty high score. Right. Top half of the high score chart. Yeah. It's not bad. 
All right. Uh, away, you can save your progress. How did I not notice that? And we are ninth on Earth. Nice. What? Nice. Science. Oh, my God. Someone's stuck with this to get 70,000 points. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that to yourself? All right, on to the A games. Hey, what's the one that you used to play? Geo Wars, Geo, the one where you... Geometry Wars. Geometry Wars. Oh, that's the best game. I'm pretty sure people have asked the same about you. Probably. I, I was the second on Earth in that game, which is kind of impressive to me, uh, to no one else. All right, so we move with the stick. We got thrust over here, fire down there. Done and done. It's always an Xbox controller and diagrams, because that's what people play with. Oh, I think this is for the Commodore 64. I didn't check, but neat. I never had a Commodore 64, so... Nope. Uh, okay. I played other people's. Uh, me too, but not that often. Oh, I played this. Really? Oh, wow. The real question is, is it going to have Gork? No! They got me. After I scored zero points. Are you familiar with Gorf? Which one's Gorf? Uh, it's a version of Space Invaders. Ah! Where they had, like, a variety of different kinds of Space Invaders levels, including one where there was a capital ship that you had to, like, destroy the shield of before you could destroy oh, the ship. That's the one I played the most of. Really good game. Yeah, that's that's what, when everybody says Space Invaders, that's You're thinking what I of Gorf, think yeah. 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 It was a much better. No, oh, no! I well, I scored 14 moved. points. That's not bad. Wow, that gave me a lot of lives. It's interesting, it's literally just one point per ship. Must kill them faster! No! Commodore 64 was a weird time for video games. Mm -hmm. I think that's fair to say. It's so weird to think that it's like just one guy programmed this, you know, on his own Commodore 64. To play in Comedy 64, and then he, like, sold it to a publisher who published it as part of, like, a compilation disc with 18 other games. And it's still alive to this day. This is the history of video games, right? Here. And you don't have to be entertained. No! We never beat level one! I know, I'm sad too. Yeah. <laughs> that, is, that is the right response, my lady. I think the thing that's impressing me most about this is that they've managed 65th. Did you see that there was a guy who got like a thousand points in this? Cool. Uh, I like that they have managed to get a um, like a, a framework here that can tell how much how, what your score is in these terrible old games that aren't tuned for that. Mm -hmm. That's actually impressive. Another ZX Spectrum game called Aqua Squad. Guide your submarine through treacherous underwater caves on a mission. So this is going to be like Cobra Mission again, but uh, uh, but with a submarine. Ooh, what uh, system would have this been? Spectrum ZX. I just said that. What is Spectrum ZX? It's the British Commodore 64. Oh, okay. Like it's not, obviously it's not literally that, but it is literally that. As you can see, it had slightly different controls. Like, I don't understand what I'm doing here. Okay. I died. Thanks for telling me that. Huh. What are the controls again? How to play. Uh, movement, movement, start, tap, fire, hold, bomb. Okay. That wasn't good. Apparently this is from 1988, which is shameful. Okay, I can go up. Okay, I don't know. I'm having real trouble controlling the ship. Fun fact, uh, this ZX Spectrum is what the good people at uh, Rare made all of their early games for. Yeah, they would go on to, you know, create uh, Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, what do you call it? Goldeneye, Perfect Dark. They started making, not not games this questionable, but games like this. This genre, anyway. Whoa! I think the fish die if they touch the walls, because I just saw a dude die nowhere near me. Okay, I accidentally used my bomb, and that didn't go well. It's actually a common technological thing to 
increase the game's speed to have it no uh not have more than one bullet appear at a time like it's not just space invaders that did that and now i'm done all right uh, this isn't something i'm gonna play more of because wow is it way too difficult to uh control the ship but i like that instead of being a scroller it's kind of an adventure game kind of neat actually and i was 56th in the world all right next up we have a uh an arcade game okay called aso armored scrum object that's not a good name missiles fire armor okay armored scrum object it's a weird title Is right scrum a reference to uh, rugby you'd think i think it's a reference to and i don't want to be a jerk about this uh the good people at uh, snk not being great at English. <laughs> is, that, is that mean to say, or is that accurate? Okay, got missiles. Oh, so it's basically, um... Oh, God, what's the name of that game? Thank you, it's driving me crazy. Yeah, uh, oh. Xevious. Xevious, the game where you both had to fire, um... Where it was this kind of vertical scroller. And you both had to fire at dudes in the air and things on the ground with two different buttons. You know, Tiger Heli did the same thing, but Xevious was, if not the first, this might have been the first, uh, one of the most famous. Everybody loved Xevious. Even I loved Xevious. And I wasn't good at Xevious type games. There weren't a lot of good uh, games I wa was good at. I guess Dragon's Lair? Although that's just having a memory. What makes you good at Dragon's Lair? Ain't nobody beaten Dragon's Lair the first time. I don't care how good you are at video games. There's some counterintuitive stuff. Oh, and it does the Xevious type thing where there's a, a hole in the ground when you destroyed something. Nice. Hey, what's that at the bottom right? Look, there's like pictures of a ship. A picture of a ship with pieces. No! Taken out of it. Are those like a power-up I'm picking up? Oh god, do you think they'll have Jackal? Who's Jackal? It's the, the, the vertical shooter in a um, jeep with a machine gun on it. Oh, and a grenade launcher. Yeah, such it. a good game. Oh my god, such a good game. Uh, dear developers over at the Ant Stream, we're loving this product so far. Great work. Maybe have a quick save and a quick load on the controller bumpers. Because right now if I want to save and load, I have to do this. I have to click. Uh, I have to click on, go down, click on save, move over to that, saving in slot one. Yeah. Do you think that uh, disables my high score if I load that? Probably, right? I have no clue. You're right. Wait, look, look. Oh, that was part of the ship. Okay, so maybe if I get all those parts, I get an extra life or something. Whoa! What is happening? Ah, you press the armor button when you've got those, and you briefly go into a super mode. Okay, that's cool. That super mode did not last long. Can I turn it off? What the hell just happened? When I stopped using the super mode, I traveled back to before I had used the super mode. Did the super mode travel in time? Okay. Ow! That was rough. Okay, I'm less impressed with that guy who got a thousand points on that uh, game we just played, if you can save and load and keep your score. Because then it's... I mean, the high scores don't mean anything. It's just about who plays the longest. Who is, who is willing to load and reload the most amount of... the highest number of times. Oh, I'm not a good shot. Oh, I'm not a doctor. Greatest, one of the greatest Simpson moments of all time? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm Jesus. not a doctor. <laughs> Which one's that? It's, uh, ah! When, uh, when Lisa gets drunk on the, uh, the oh, water. Yes. The water and at, yes, uh, at the, the Duff Deer no, Gardens. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Duff Deer Gardens, yeah. Yeah. All right, so now, can I load that? No. How do I load? I do want to leave that game session. It's weird that it's not clear how to load, right? I know. 
49th on Earth. All right, next up we have a, another Z ZX Spectrum game. This one called Ace 2088. Never heard of this, because again, did not have ZX Spectrum. I'm from Canada. Okay. Program, Andrew Talay, John Damon, Redman, Alan Jones, Nigel Pritchard, Sean Connor. No, these names mean nothing to me. What the hell am I doing? This is weird, right? Alright, I'm going there. I see. It's not, I'm the only, I'm not the only one for whom it's completely unclear what is happening and what this game is, right? Okay, good. Okay, I went to somewhere 18 light years away. You saw the weird Rambo guy. In the yeah, that's who's playing. Oh. That's the sign that I'm playing, because that's my icon. Oh. We can check later if they have an Icari Wars. I don't mind glancing ahead. I do like, uh, and actually we don't have to glance ahead and spoil it. We can just type into the search bar. I just realized. All right, well, this has been fun. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, okay. There is a fly to planet button. All right, all right, all right. There, there is a fly to planet button, and it's not doing anything. Okay, well, what am I doing wrong here? Yeah, all right, we're, we're just stopping. <laughs> as much as I enjoyed that, uh, we are going to stop that now. No high score or uh, high scores for that one, obviously. And right, next up, we have Alchemist. Ooh, RGPG platformer who searches for scrolls of destruction to defeat a warlock. Tell me more. So that's pick up, put uh, drop, transform, fire, pick up, drop, spell. Okay. Nice. Imagine software. Wow. Damn. Oh, wow! What's this one? Alchemist! No, no, stop shooting, stop shooting. Damn, this game is old-timey. I turned into a burb! You're a burb! So that I could fly to the next area! Oh, damn, this is weird. No! Oh, ah, ow, oh, a ghost! Are the I think he's coming back. Scared of verbs? No. And Mario rules don't apply. Oh, exactly. Excuse me. I'm a big fan of this burb. Okay. Okay. The problem is I've hit a dead end, and I don't have enough spell energy to turn into a burb. Three. Yes. Maybe that food will give me more spell energy? No, that probably gives me more al um, uh, stamina, right? I literally don't have enough spell energy to transform back into a human. <laughs> Come on. Yes, all right. Yeah, it was stamina. All right, so let's pick up this uh, axe. Can I use the axe? I cannot use the axe. Maybe it's one of those things where, like, later... Ah! Oh, that hurt. It's always good to... I got a spell. Spell. The spell is Bewitch. Axe, if you can use an axe. Anyway! <laughs> oh, that's a dead Have end. I bewitched you with my charm and jokes? Oh, God, woman. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I can break this door, but it doesn't look like it. Well, I'm sure there's a lot to this game, and I'm glad they're including, like, these weird old adventure games, you know, before people knew how to make video games in this collection. But that said, oh boy, are we not going to be playing more of this thing. <laughs> I'm not saying it's easy to hit 1,200 games in your service, but, you know, if a lot of them are like this, it's not that hard either. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, yes, Alien Breed, finally! Oh, Alien Breed 2, the horror continues. So, Alien Breed is by Team 17, who you know as the creators of... 
Okay, well, I don't know why I'm doing that to her. She's never going to know. Worms. Worms! They made worms. These are the There's guys. on here? I, it's got to... I mean, if they've made a deal with Team 17, there's no way Worms isn't on. That's creepy. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's very creepy. It's, um... As you can see, very alien-inspired. Obviously. Accessing disc! That's oh! So cute! Well, it's the Amiga version, so it's a virtual Amiga with a virtual disc in it. Oh, this is so cute! Alright, let's do it. As the shadow lifts from the dropship, you find yourself in the middle of a landing pad on the outskirts of the base. You must find your way to the civilian building entrance 1, which should be directly north of your current position. Negotiate defenses and supply conduits to reach your goal. Be aware of the automated security choppers. What is an automated security chopper? Is it that? That thing? Probably. Gah! I think they're dropping bombs on me. What is wrong with these guys? Oh, they're automated. Ow! Must go faster! Okay, I thought I could shoot that open. Ow! Can I shoot that? No! I got killed! Wow, right at the start. That was not great. So if the, the helicopters, even though they're flying overhead, if they touch you, you totes die. I don't want to die in this game before I uh, actually see an alien. Wait, what happened there? Oh, that's the map. Okay. How do I open this door? Uh, okay. So, something cool. They've actually... What, check this out, woman. Mm -hmm. They've simulated ramps. So, see? Watch this. I walk slowly to get up on the road, and then quickly to get off it. Yeah. yeah. Like, what a weird extra element to put in there. Am I supposed to sneak around? Ah! Ow, no! That was my last life. Oh, no. My last extra life. Ooh. For the record, in trying to play the game Alien Breed 2, I died before getting to the aliens. I was killed by security choppers before I got anywhere near where I'm supposed to go. In my defense, it's not like they told me, oh, well, what you're going to have to do is not go through the door, but sneak through a bunch of bridges way off to the side. They've given me... I think this is extra ammo? Let me see. No, it's not. It's just points. Ow! Oh. Okay. Well, bad guess on my part. Maybe I use the credits to buy ammo? Oh, I found a key! Wow, this guy is not able to sneak through places at all. Alright, so I got a key. K07. Does that mean I can open seven doors? Or any doors? What are my controls again? Okay. Seriously, let's, let's check my controls again. Uh, move right, access console, holo map, fire switch weapons. Okay. No, I do not want to... I did not want to leave that... Ah! Sadly, I did not save my... Uh... Oh, touch controls. Cool. So you're going to be able to play this game. Uh, you can... Imp Apparently, this isn't just on PCs. You're going to be able to play this if you have a phone as well. Uh, is that is that good? Well, that's up to you, I think. Uh, I'm not going to tell you you have to get this off uh, this service. I don't even know how much this service costs. Is that something I should have checked? Yeah. M was that included in the information they sent me about the service? Probably. <laughs> but I certainly didn't read any of it. We were just excited to play. I was excited to play retro games. What can I say? These are the games of my youth. And uh, I think what we're learning here is that the games of my youth weren't very good. Alright, so. Access console. I just want to shoot down these helicopters so badly. Alright, so let me check the map one more time. What the hell am I supposed to do in this game? Alright, so I can get up to that place too, right? We discovered that earlier. I still don't understand why a helicopter touching me kills me. 
Like, that helicopter is 50 feet in the air. Yes, I know I'm about to die. They've been firing what honestly look like meteorites at me. Alright, we're on the other side of the gate now. This is good. We're in the loading area. We've got to be almost there. So is this... Yep, key 8. So I've got 8 keys. They didn't open any of the doors I found so far. But I did make it to the entrance to the place. Oh, check it out. It's a... Uh, it's like a... Ah! Like a big hauler, but it has claws on the front to pick up cargo. Nice. Very handy. Oh, cool. I think that might be one of the aliens, because that's obviously legally actionable. The alien from Aliens. <laughs> like, 100%. You could sue over that photo. That was clearly the alien for... Alright, uh, find antimatter. Regulators recognize as spinning mechanical Tauruses. I don't know what a Taurus is. Uh, maybe it's just a spiral? I don't know. Ah! Apparently these aliens can spit acid at me. Gotcha. Oh, look! That must be a mechanical Taurus, right? Ow. Apparently I was not supposed to destroy them. Should I have paid more attention to my instructions for playing this level? Yes. There's some ammo. Oh, no, that wasn't ammo either. So anytime you open a door, it costs... Yes, ammo, finally. Anytime you open a door, it costs you a key. Oh, I'm in trouble, everybody. Oh, this is bad. This is going real bad. I know I require first aid. If you could tell me where to find some of that, I would love to do it, but... Yeah, they got me. So do you think this is played, uh, playable by two players simultaneously? Because they keep calling me player one. And now, oh. Yeah, it's very much uh, gauntlet rules. You're constantly having to find more keys to open doors to get through the... Oh my god! Did you see... You didn't see that. Okay, I was well, looking at the screen, but oh, I you have did no see idea it? what you wanted. A garbage see. can turned out to be a disguised alien. Ooh. I don't understand why these sentry cannons are killing me. Like, get it together, guys. I'm here to save the station. I'm actually probably here to blow up the station. But, you know, in theory, I'm here to save the station. Okay, well, this is not going well for me. I'm almost out of ammo, which means I have 50% ammo left. But it takes, like, 15, 20 bullets to kill any monster, so, you know. Wish I could stockpile a little more ammo, frankly. Not gonna make a big deal out of it. Hey, it's a terminal! I've got a button for dealing with that. Weapon supplies, tool supplies, mission objective, game statistics, index safety. Okay, uh, okay. These have become overactive. Without, you must look at... Okay, I do have to destroy the Tauruses. I thought so. I gotta say, uh, being able to go to a console and have it tell you what you're supposed to do in a level is not a feature I was expecting to see in this game. And I'm very impressed that it was included. You go, guys. I think he's about to shoot me in the back. Yes! Oh, I dodged it. So, my biggest issue with the game is the constantly respawning enemies. That is... I know that's just of the time, but it's the thing that made me least likely to enjoy games back in the day. This was made in 93. Doom was already out when they made this. A lot of people are playing it, too. And crushed my score. Just, just crushed it into the ground. Ground it into dust. Alright, so this is... Uh, Commodore 64, Alley. Okay, you need to look at the screen right now. What? It's called Alley Cat. It's about a spaceman, and he was holding a stick in the air that had a cat on it. Okay. That's weird, right? That's very weird. All right, Alley Cat. <laughs> what is this? What the hell? Okay, so it's just a standard vertical shooter. What are all those G's and E's on the ground? Do they mean something? Is that how I collect points? No! no! 
I have literally no idea what's happening in this game. That was the whole game? Oh, so it's just like a... Like a timed rush challenge. So you just zoom. And you see how far you can get, and that's the whole game. And now, I don't want to... Wow! I got three millimeters. Insufficient funds to enter further alley cat races. Oh, okay. This is weird. So here's my question to you. Is this game, even for a Commodore 64 game, startlingly ugly? Or is it just me? She's not going to answer me, but, you know, what? I want the can answer. I said, is this game, even for a Commodore 64 game, startlingly ugly, or is it just me? Well, it keeps flashing lights in my eyes. So it's really hard to look at, isn't it? Yes. Okay. I also, it it's like, it's almost like it's like purple on top of purple. Tenth on Earth. Which is weird, so yeah. Not a fan. All right, next up. Uh, Avenger Way of the Tiger 2 this for the Commodore like the 64. It does, doesn't it? You're playing as a ninja who's got like a, a tiger buddy? Do you remember the point where art on the outside of the game box actually mirrored what actually happened in games? Oh my god, and how yeah. blown away you were by it? Yep. Oh, check it out! I'm a little ninja, and I got, what, I've got ninja stars? I can do kung fu. No, can't do kung fu. Oh, check it out! I can fire in four different directions based on which button I push. Cool. Nice. I got him. Wow, these guys are very fast at getting to me. Oh, this is weird. Okay, so in real life in the game, you're supposed to press in a direction and the button to throw a thing. And the way they've hacked that is pressing X moves me left and throws a ninja star. Because when it was originally made, you only had one button, yeah. right? So you would push the stick in the direction, push the button, and they've like found a way to streamline the controls, which I gotta say impresses me a lot that they went that far. Okay, well I'm dying this seems now. So familiar. I feel like I've played this. You think you played this? Which, given the box art, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I would, based on that box art. Did you see a door? I don't see a door. Uh, I feel like there was one... Where was it? Is it the top? Yep. Yeah. There it is. Thank you. I'm very embarrassed now. I cannot open... Oh, we don't have any keys. Ah, you have got a key. Theoretically. Finding the key is the key to this puzzle. All right, now I'm judging you harshly. You should. I, I am. Okay, can I get into that thing and there's a key in there? Oh, you could go off the bottom of the screen. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Mm. Zelda rules apply. You can't. They do. And it's a huge map, too. Mm. You know, for the time. Obviously, by today's standards, it's nothing. But for the time, oh my god. So that brutal shooting game I played will have 12 levels when they're finished. I'm very excited to get my hands on the finished version, so hopefully they're kind enough to send me one. Oh, hey, guess what I got an out-of-the-blue email about playing today? She's not listening to me at all. What? Sorry? I said, guess what I got an out-of-the-blue do-you-want-to-cover-this email about today? What? The new Dungeons & Dragons action RPG. There's a new Dungeons & Dragons action RPG? And the crazy part is, it's fairly high profile. And out of nowhere, they just emailed me like, do you want to cover this? And I'm like, yes. I'm I love Dungeons & Dragons games. I kind of want to play that. Yeah, Dark Alliance. And you I mean, like... I'm not usually a huge fan of RPGs, but that sounds fun. Yeah, well, it's an action RPG, so it's going to be, you know, yeah. like, real-time combat. But yeah, I'm very interested to see how this ends up playing. Let's see if I can break it. Oh, you definitely can. No question. <laughs> the real question is, uh, if, you know, do I play as a, ma ow, a magic user? Do I play as a, a kung fu guy? Just a dude with a sword? Archer? Like, it's it's going to be tough. Does it have pre-made characters? Do we get to make characters oh, ourselves? Like Character creation I know, so that's fun. what I'm saying. Like, I haven't looked into this uh, Dark Alliance uh action rpg at all but now that i know that we're going to be covering it i'm kind of intrigued to find oh, out what it's around like around here somewhere is a halloween picture from many many moons ago yeah. where i just dressed up as my D, &D character nice 
<laughs> so do I have infinite li Oh, okay, I see what happens. So you see the purple thing on the left? That goes down when I get damaged. So I'll just show you myself getting damaged. And every time it goes down X amount, the, uh, like, half or something, the green one goes down. And I figure when the green one runs out, that's when you're dead. So you actually really do have a lot of health in this game, but I assume you have to, like, beat the whole game on that health. How do I switch weapons? Does it give you more health? I don't know. I've never played this game before. I remember that. That's a spiky floor, right? Yes. Yeah, I remember not you really did. being able to see it well. They're really the hard to see, aren't they? Yeah. So imagine this on old... <laughs> An old CRT screen. Yeah. Yeah, and they came with the This is where I got frustrated and I stopped playing. I get it. Oh, no, I completely get it. I'm about to stop playing. I could not see those spikes. I totally get that. Because they were virtually invisible on an old, like, tube TV. I was about to say, do you think any of the Cinemaware games are on here? Or and wait, the answer is probably is this not. this Commodore 64? This would have been a monitor. Yeah, no, they came with their own... Commodore 64 yeah. came with its own monitor. Yeah. That had, um, like, it was the first monitor a lot of people would ever see that had, like, a, a yellow visual yeah. plug. But still. Oh, no, no, yeah, it wasn't great. They were not... Like, Those monitors, really... they literally had a panel on the front for you to, like... Alter the the horizontal roll yeah. and the color and the tint and everything. They were they tinted tend to tint green. Too. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And you would have to manually adjust the tint. Yeah. Every time after, you did it, because yeah. like after a certain amount of time of playing, the colors would just drift, and you would have to fine tune it. Yeah. It's kind of but interesting. Like, after a while of use, it yeah. just tended to tint green. Oh yeah, permanently. Yeah. That permanently. would definitely happen. Yeah. All right. Uh, I gotta say, like, this is a nice blast from the past. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, dear people at, uh, what do you call that thing? Antstream? It wouldn't be terrible if you could find a way to get the manuals yeah, to these things. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Because a lot of these games are not, ca are counterintuitive. Okay, that is the best cover I've ever seen for a yeah, video game. Okay. Is this based on something? I don't Arturia know. Artura. Plunge in Arthurian okay. Legend Epic and Mysterious Action Game. Oh my god, that cover-up. What if they have Sword of Sodan? Oh my god, if this thing has Sword of Sodan? Sword of Sodan. Be way too oh, brutal. That was very flat. Yeah, look back through the arc, a dark mirror of this season to the t Yeah, this is, wow. I think it's... an age of time, yeah, clock issue. Find Nimue and rescue her. It's just seeing this it gives me a real Sword of Sodan vibe. What the hell? Uh, I think those are rats. Like rats. Must move faster. Okay, well that's not working. Can I kill you with these, uh... Oh dang, I can! And it looks ugly! Check it out, I don't have any limit to the amount of axes I can throw. That's what I call living the dream. Do I have to kill the ants and the rats? I do. Or they will hurt me. The dude with a top knot and a hatchet! Only I can stop him from... I don't actually know what he wants to do. It's probably not good. Enough. Yes! Made it to the other side. I can't stress enough. I'm a very old man. So what this is... Person? This is actually what video games like when I was a, were like when I was a child. Yeah, so not what video games were like when you were a child. I played games like this, are you kidding me? Yeah, you were not much of a child. You're, you're, you're no, no, like, blind. this game is from 1983. I was Seriously? five. This is from 1983? Yes, a wow. bunch of these games have been. Wow. The Commodore 64. That started in, like, 82, 83. I do not remember these graphics from 1983. Oh, yeah. 100%. This might be 84, 85, but remember, the Commodore 64 was, like, dead by 87. Like, the Nintendo killed this entire thing. So, I wasn't even 10 years old by the time the Commodore 64 stopped being like, a useful video game system. I had an Amiga when I was ten. No, nine! So all of this stuff is, like, my Atari. early childhood. I had an Atari. I had an Atari, too. It was not great, but I loved it. Well, I'm trapped in a pit, so I'm Atari. gonna go. What's wrong with you? It just, it only had one button. It oh. massively limited the kind of games you could play. Well, I had an Atari before I ever, like, even, well, before Nintendo was a thing. Yeah, no, okay, here we go. Airstrike 2, whereas I had a Coleco. Uh, that's by the, the game system by the Connecticut Leather Corporation, uh, which made Cabbage Patch dolls, and they had so much Cabbage Patch money, 
They're like, we gotta diversify. Let's make a video game system. And it sold on? weirdly well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah it sold weirdly well because they got the exclusive rights from Nintendo to make an arcade perfect Donkey Kong. Yeah. And that sold the whole system. And by the same time, um, Atari 2600 had just botched their Pac-Man game, disappointing everyone. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. It was atrocious. Atari 8-bit. Wow. 1983. I remember this one. I didn't like it, but I remember it. I don't know why I didn't like it. Alright, let's do it. Oh, now I know. It's an old Cobra Command style it's game. Uh, if you don't know what Cobra Command is, it's a game where you fly a helicopter through a series of tunnels. And that's exactly what we're talking about here. Oh, I can hold down the button to shoot. Uh, as is always the case in this time for video game, one hit will kill you. Okay, you gotta watch out for the falling. Alright, so you have to destroy this to get through. What? Wow, that game got nuts fast, didn't it? What the hell? I keep dying. Oh, right. That's what that uh, please come back up. Please come back. Okay, well, I screwed that up. <laughs> Airstrike 2, everybody. A real game that pe people really played. Uh... Oh, wait, I meant to quit. Alright. Yes, I do mean to quit. Alright, what's next? They probably don't have Night Slashers. Almost nobody ha has ever heard of Night Slashes. It's a final fight game about punching zombies and Draculas. Uh, okay. Alien Breed Tower Assault. I guess this is Alien Breed 3? After how badly Alien Breed 2 went, I'm not, went, I'm not really confident in my abilities here. Tower Assault Team 17. Yeah, so it's, yeah, so the last one was 93, this is 94. Okay, let's do it. Very excited. The IPC presents Crash Landing Site. As you scramble from the remains of the Predator dropship, you find yourself at the southern border of the colony grounds outside MRU 98. Perform a brief retchy. That's how British people say recon. And proceed, uh, or reconnaissance if you prefer. Proceed into the colony complex by way of uh, by one of the available entrances. Caution: the area is mine. Well, as long as there's no helicopters trying to kill me. Oh wow, the voice simulation is like hugely improved over the last game. Okay, I got a little bit of ammo. It's actually perfect. Like the audio is, I mean, for the time, a perfect human voice. Oh yeah, there's the mines. So remember how last time we had to deal with helicopters and uh, meteors falling from the sky? This time it's just meteors, but there's also landmines. And then I stepped on a rat or a tiny space laser. Either way, I don't feel... Oh! And now there's laser turrets trying to kill me. I don't get it through there. Can I... Ow! Blow up this machine? I don't think I can blow up this machine, everybody. Are we doing this again? Is it once again impossible to figure out where I'm supposed to go? I don't have a map this time. Ow! Something wrong with a lot of rats. Uh, I've got three keys. That shouldn't be an issue. Yes, I see. Can I find some more health? Oh, hey, I got invulnerability. Nice. I'm dying a lot. There's my crash ship. Dear game, I I want to enjoy you. I do. Are you kidding me? That can't be what I was supposed to do. Apparently that's what I was supposed to do. Oh, you have to find a thing to get the map. But then you can't look at the map again. No. Seems like an oversight. Dear Team 17, I think you should patch in new features to this game from 27 years ago. <laughs> a terrible place for me to give notes. 
while playing Alien Breed Tower Assault. I wonder why there's, like, the dark yellow and the light yellow for my health and my ammo. Like, is that when I get into warning territory? Where am I? Oh, I'm over there. Okay, so I have to get up here. Not a problem. It's definitely a problem. Alien breed. Uh, okay. Oh, so I have to find an entrance to that tunnel elsewhere. Ow. Really can't dodge this. Oh, everybody, I watched it for the AVOD next week, so you're going to hear me talk about it then. But if you want a, a fun movie, everybody, watch Kid Detective. It's uh, the story of Adam Brody playing a Encyclopedia Brown-type character. He used to solve kid mysteries, but then a uh, when he was 12, and, you know, like from 8 to 12, and then... A, uh, a 14 year old girl got kidnapped in his town and mysterious and was never seen again and he got emotionally stunted because he couldn't solve the case and so now he's 32 years old and still a kid detective solving like pathetic crimes Sounds it's really interesting. it's a really good movie and I'm not gonna say any more than that I'm not gonna spoil it for y'all y'all but it's on, uh, I think it's on Prime or Crave or something in Canada. I'm sure you can find it on your streaming services, wherever you live. Uh, definitely watch it. It's really good. Really a good movie. Uh, it's something I would have been happy to see in theaters. I think it's Canadian. It was definitely shot in, like, Sudbury. So uh, be sure to check that bad boy out. Liked it a lot. Is Adam Brody Canadian? No. Oh. No. <laughs> Energy low. Um, it might have been made by American people in Canada. Yeah. I just know that it was shot in, like, Sudbury. Because the, there's a Northern Canadian credit, and you look at the thing, and I'm like, that's got to be, like, Sudbury, maybe North sure. Bay. Like, yeah. it's got those kind of trees everywhere. Got it. Uh, Yay! Speaking of, what do you think about that new Chris Pratt movie that he did for Prime? Yeah. The weird, I'm going Sci -fi to Sci-fi action out. movie? Future War? Maybe? Yeah, the Future War. Yeah. yeah. Or the Tomorrow War. Tomorrow War, that's what it's called. To get an entry to these gates, you must first locate. Okay, well, I'm not doing that. The gameplay is fine, but come on, we're not going to sit here playing Alien Breed for half an hour. It's Alien Breed. Yeah. Come on. Uh, Alright, next up is. Okay, this is something that I noticed when I was scrolling earlier. They got three of the same game, which it's on different systems, that's fine. Why aren't they all together? Yeah, that's weird. So we're not going to actually play it. We're just going to load it so it gets, like, established on our account that we've played it. So we'll be able to say, oh, you played all the games. Ooh. Also, we're checking out the graphical differences, which are extreme. That's horrendous. Hard to look at. Wow. What do you do? What system was this one for? I think this is the ZX Spectrum version. Wow. Wow, the Commodore 64 looked a lot ZX better. ZX Spectrum, you sucked, apparently. Wow, this is so ugly. All right, well, uh, let's see what the Amiga version looked like. I mean, we'll be there in a second, because this is alphabetical. Wow. Uh, that is that is ugly. All right, so this is Anarchy, a Commodore 64 tank game. Destroy the Rebel Weapons Cache in this extremely satisfying shooter puzzle crossover. What? A shooter puzzle crosser? I mean, we'll give it a shot, right? Do you think they have Beachhead? Probably not. Yes, I'm playing in low difficulty. Oh, weird. Check it out. Like, we had games like this on the, like, uh, what do you call that thing? Atari. Yeah. Is it an Atari game? No, this is Commodore 64. You can actually tell based on the amount of colors and the yeah. number of pixels on screen, like the resolution. I find the colors very jarring. Yeah, the they, they really are. I mean, again, it was a less bright screen than what we're currently playing on. So yeah. Oh, you're right. I hadn't thought about that. It wouldn't have been as jarring then. Probably not. Yeah. I don't really understand what I'm doing. They're like, destroy the weapons cache, okay? I feel like I've played this, but I have no clue. Okay. Like, I keep looking for a home... Like, because they, they freeze and turn into blocks when I shoot them, right? Yeah. And so I'm thinking, okay, well, I'll... 
Uh, I'll push that block into somewhere important, but... No. That doesn't work. And you can't shoot when you're next to something, I just found out. So we're going to try destroying all of this... Dis we're going to try destroying all of the destroyable blocks on the level and see if that's what we were supposed to do. I don't know that it will be, but I, it's all I can think to do. Because the enemies, you know, don't stay dead. They just constantly respawn. Well, not respawn. Wake back up. Or respawn if you leave the screen. Uh, all right. We've almost got all of the blocks in the level. That's good, right? I've destroyed all the blocks on the level. And nothing has happened. Except for a really jarring bell ringing in my ears. Because we're out of time. All right. Uh, good game, no notes. I'm kidding. I have so many notes. You should have told me what I was supposed to do, for example. That was, that's a top tier note, I would say. 51st in the world. First in the world. All right. Um, Arcus Odyssey. Damn, for the Mega Drive? Mega Drive is what the British people called uh, Sega Genesis. Right. Wow, this is a much advanced game over anything else we've seen today. Parallax scrolling in the clouds, like... That's awesome. Way to go. Alright, what is this thing? Oh, choosing characters. Archer. Chain lady. Sword guy. Sorcerer. You realize I'm asking. Oh. Uh... I like the archer. Archer it is. Act 1. Leetie's power. Who is Leetie? Oh, nice. Hope I don't li have limited arrows, because I'm not stopping shooting. Oh. Oh, I've also got a shield? I've got magic power. Nice. Damn you, horrible monster in a pit! I killed you before you could fire any more boulders at me. You're welcome. Oh, wow! I can actually disappear behind buildings. Nice. Do you know what I saw is on here in the first thing I tried mm -hmm. when I loaded it up? Mm -hmm. uh, Super Empire Strikes Back for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh. That's what I meant when I said they had access to LucasArts games. Yeah. Like, and one of the first games I saw was Adventures of Monkey <laughs> Island. Like, <coughs> that's right, Monkey Island. I'm is really honest. curious about the Empire Strikes Back game because I don't remember it. It didn't seem bad. I escaped from the prison that faces the waterfalls. Some of my friends are still in the prison. I have one thing to ask from you. Please help my friends. If you want to find the prison, you can take the road that begins on the other side of the waterfalls. But be very careful. You can see the waterfalls, but not necessarily the exit from that place. <laughs> you get it? This is so much text. This is a lot You're of text. in trouble. You have to look carefully. The road will open in front of you. Wow. I love how big the text boxes are, though. Yeah, that is and very I convenient. And this was made for a much smaller screen than oh, we're yeah. currently it watching. Oh, yeah. It takes about. up our entire screen. <laughs> um, but... Seriously? Ooh, Can modern games do text boxes this that big? That huge. Just giant just, text boxes that take like, up the whole screen. I know. Super note to modern games, stop making tiny text boxes. I do hate it. I know you're programmers and you sit like a foot to two foot away, two feet away from your screen. That is not the normal experience of playing games no. these days. You we know all really have giant wireless televisions. Wireless controller? Because people don't like to have... Uh, uh, Cable stretching everywhere. Stretching it from their TV to their Well, sofa. this is the waterfall. I don't see the path out like, from the waterfall. We all have a couch we like to sit on while we play our games. Almost everyone I know. I don't really care about the wires stretching across. I've gotten used to stepping over them. Yeah, but, but it's more convenient. Yeah. This is why wireless controllers are a thing. Stop making text boxes. I can't get through there. But this is the waterfalls. Alright, well, it's an interesting game, and much more advanced than anything we've played so far. So there you go. Next up we have... What is that? Uh, it is Athena, from the arcade, about a bikini girl with a sword and a shield. This is actually a very famous SNK game. They're like a series of Athena games. And Athena would actually appear as character, like, cameo in other games. Like, fighting games and whatnot. This seems familiar. Oh, this one's super famous. Okay, I'm not 100% down with her 
uh, dress flying off. Yeah. And now she's in a bikini. I feel like that was unnecessary, game developers. World of Forest. So she's very good at kicking people. Where's that sword? Also, there seem to be unlimited pig... Unlimited pig guys, which isn't great. The upside, we have nine lives. Oh, you can just jump over them. No, I did not have six lives. It said six over... Oh, no, I do. Okay. It's a game to be continued, which made it sound like I had to, like, press... It. Oh, wait, can I pick that up? Yes! Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Now we're cooking with evil gas. Does this thing have Nintendo games? Um, I just told you it did. Or do you mean, like, the Nintendo company? You mean the company Nintendo or the Nintendo Entertainment System? Nintendo Entertainment Uh, well, yes, it did, because I had I played the, um, uh, Star Wars. I don't know about... I, I've seen almost none of the games, I guess. I'm just wondering if it has Ram on one half. Oh, that would be amazing. Right? Ram one half fighting game? That would be such a wonderful nostalgia thing to play. I gotta say, I wasn't doing that badly till I died just then. This is very difficult to play, and I don't know how she spawned an entire series. Uh, the bikini? Pro probably the bikini? Yeah. The bikini? 100%. All right. All right, so let's find out what that Arthur <laughs> Arthur game looked like here. Artura. Artura looked like on Amiga. Because, again, Amiga was my system growing up. I mean, it blew everything out of the water. Not until, like, there are Amiga games that look better than Super Nintendo games. Wow. This is not one of them, but compared to what we were seeing previously on the C64 and the, uh... Yeah. Like, this is, this is real. Z whatever it's called? Uh, the ZX Spectrum. I mean, this is a huge improvement. It's still not great, but it's definitely a huge improvement. Nice. All right, so that's going to be our first section of um, playing Ant Stream. Uh, we have gotten entirely through the uh, zeros and not at all through the A's, so we'll be continuing with the A's next time. She's so mad at me right now, as I well she should be. Me? They have, yes. Why? I'm saying you're frustrated at the amount of games we're looking at. Oh, no. There are oh, so many alien brains. There's a pin. See, there's so much to do here. And we're going to do all of it eventually. <laughs> but for now, I've oh, been the Hidden Object Guru. Oh, there's a version of that Avenger game. Look. Oh, yeah, there Let's is. Too. Yeah, okay, so we'll be able to skip through that one after we check what it looks like. Uh, for now, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. And again, to the Anstream developers, like, please do the alphabetizing better. Like, put all of the Avenger next to each other. Put yeah. all well, of look, the yeah, Artura next to each other. Two as well. Those actually might be different games, oh. though. It was a long-running series. Oh, but See, look, the they... alien is different color on every one, okay. and they're all Amiga, so... But, I mean, why are they separate? That's my point. Yeah. yeah. But can you search... Here's my question about this service. Can you search by system? I don't think so. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I'll, I'll try. NES? Yeah. Uh... No, you can't search by any. Sorry. Uh, so what game did you... I wanted to search for Sword of Sodan, Grandma. so... Sword of Sodan? It has Sword of Sodan! Oh Woo! my god! In four months, we're going to be so excited to play that! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grandma. Uh, no, sorry. No. It's the name of some players. Uh, any other games you're curious about? Frogger? Frogger! Frogger! No. no. Uh, oh, so disappointing. Lunar Lander. Ooh, good one. Uh, yep, Lunar Lander. Uh, Way to go, Arcade. I'm sure I'll think of more that I would like to see. Well, yeah, I mean, we, we've got this thing for months. Yeah. we got this thing till September, so we have time to check it out. Uh, check this out. On the front page, there are contests. See, this is what I saw. Monkey Madness, Marble. Monkey Island, Marble Madness, and that's why I clicked Ooh. on Empire Strikes Back for the NES. Batman! Cloak and Dagger, based on the game, sorry, the movie, oh. that was a movie tie-in, if you'll recall. Wow. Root Beer Which Tapper. Which is that? Is that the shitty That's, one? Uh, I don't know. Let's check. Is it the arcade one? Uh, oh, no. Uh, no, it's the arcade one. It's the yeah. actual Pac-Man. Nice. So, apparently, they're doing a tournament. And I don't know where it is. Yes, they're doing a tournament. Tournament, see? Uh, oh, they do have worms. It's right there. Yeah. 
uh, prehistoric isle tournament, uh, Smash TV tournament. So we're going to try one at the Smash TV tournament on the stream, and I will humiliate myself in the Smash TV tournament. But honestly, like, this seems like quite a service. All right, so we'll see you back here for more, but until then, au revoir.